Reaper is back from the hell of unplayability to the pantheon of DPS gods, and I'm loving it. This showcase is from HTCM run in the NHTCM Discord server. I do not use my marks to kill the initial set of ads so that our DPS friends can also get their sigil stacks. I use my marks to kill the ads that spawn afterwards so that they do not touch the orb and cause a wipe. When the orb CC appears, I use chill to the bombs for the CC and take the boss portal, place my marks and get ready for boss phase. You will notice that I am not using Greatsword 5 or Shroud 2 in my rotation. The reason is Greatsword 5 does not hit the boss for some weird reason and Shroud 2 is not ideal for Primordials and Mortimoth phases as it locks you in animation and I like consistency in my rotation so I don't use it at all. Turns out the DPS difference is not much at all. When under 25%, I use my Reaper Shot 5 on the boss and get ready for phase transition. During Primordial's transition, I use Chill to the Bones and Staff Marks for the ads. Then I place down my Wells and begin my Shroud Rotation. I greet DPS until the very last moment and then I Shroud 2 out of the Charm to safety. After taking Portal, I begin my Great Sword Rotation. And from here on out, I do not move from the spot until it is time to get out of the next jump. Once again, I greet DPS till the very last moment and run out of the chomp radius when it's no longer safe. If you are not confident in greeting DPS, feel free to leave early so that you don't die to the chomp. Here I do my Shroud 5 by advancing into the hitbox. In my experience, Shroud 5 does not connect from the outside so I go to the middle of the hitbox to use the skill and then back out. Calcatoric phase is relatively uneventful. Just do your rotation and don't get hit by the carpet of void. For Timecaster, I pre-place the staff marks on the spawn location so that I can go into my Shroud rotation as soon as the champion spawns. Note here that Shroud 3 is really good source of damage reduction. It also comes in handy during Zyton screen.
Motormouth is pretty standard. Not using Shroud 2 ensures that I'm never animation locked and can always jump while in the middle of rotation. For the giants, I open with chill to the bones, staff marks and my wells. Then I breastfeed five them from the close screen. I don't know if it, this is the optimal way of doing them, but this way my boss opener remains intact with GS4 to shroud rotation. Here you see that I barely take any damage from the Scream attack because of the combination of Chalice Elite and the Shroud 3 damage reduction. Here I make the mistake of swapping to Staff. As a result, my burst was low, which is perhaps the reason why we did not get the early break bar on Salt Spray. Regardless, we kill it early enough for it to matter. Next up is pretty standard Su-1-1. The DPS players take close green, the heralds take the middle, and the words take far green. It is a rather uneventful phase for most parts. We hold DPS at the end, as usual, so that it doesn't bug out in phase 2. Stop, 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 damage, stop, stop, stop,
During the champ transition, it's crucial to start with Tilt of the Bones, followed by Wells, GS4, and Shroud Rotation. Reapers can tank through everything because of self-stability and Shroud the damage reduction. Killing the champs has never been easier. Stay uh, Reapers stay until the bullet is done. This was a really good one, because both champs died before green, and the rest of the run was smooth and easy. Reaper has been my favorite class in PvP and World World since I started playing the game in Heart of Thorns. Finally, being able to play it in the hardest PvE encounter has made me extremely happy. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase and perhaps learned something. Hit me up with any questions in the comment section below. Cheers, have a good one. That was really good.